before. We salute them all and we thank them for their service. Now, Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland. Well, very good evening, everybody. The Albany women's basketball team looking to extend their 2-0 start to the season this week after their win over the uh, Siena in the Albany Cup on Sunday. The Great Danes make a road trip to Annapolis. They left today. They'll play a tough Navy team. Uh, Ellen Hani was announced as the American East Player of the Week after leading the team in points in both games this season. She and head coach Colleen Mullen say that the midshipmen have a height advantage, but there's always a battle plan around that definitely just playing hard um, boxing out has been a big emphasis I mean Navy is big and, and tough so that's definitely going to be a key for us and I think just playing our game but being being tough is going to be huge for us playing against any type of military academy you know it's going to be a tough battle and they're physical and um, and and certainly we scheduled Navy to prepare us for the American East we knew they were going to give us a tough style of play but you want to challenge you know your players in the non-conference um, to be able to play your best basketball for the American East and feel like we, we need to be really focused to go down there and get a win on the road. Good luck to you, Albany. We have more student athlete signings this week here in the Capital Region. Today's stop, Colony High School, where five student athletes were honored for signing their national letters of intent. Giovanni Conti and Tyler Figaro will play baseball at UConn and Siena College. Isabella Franchi will attend St. Michael's College for basketball. Taylor Quinn will play softball at Codwell University. And Sophia Sanzo is headed for Lemoyne for soccer. It's great to celebrate our student athletes and uh, bring their families and friends and teammates and coaches together and kind of uh, show them everything that they've done for all of us over the last few years. I wasn't always good. Um, the work made it happen, so being able to say that I'm going to UConn now after not being that good three years ago is incredible. I've always known about Siena, you know, living so close to it. I uh, always wanted to go there, uh, so when I got the opportunity, it was definitely something I couldn't pass up on. All right, congratulations to everyone over at Colony today. Hashtag Rod Driven on the road by CDTA. Tomorrow we'll be on the road at the MVP Arena for the Siena men's and women's basketball doubleheaders. The women host St. Bonaventure at 5 followed by the men to take on Army at 7 p.m. That's on the road tomorrow at MVP Arena. Guys, back over to you. All right, Raj, thank you. Well, still ahead, are you interested in a job in manufacturing? Well, we will take you through a new study that proves why the Capital Region is the place to be. That's in tonight's.